The man accused in a deadly hit and run in Hyde Park that killed a four year old boy appeared in court today. WBC's Louisa Moeller is live outside the courthouse in Jamaica Plain. Louisa, tonight we know more about the tip that led police to this suspect. Lisa, prosecutors say there was one critical witness who gave pictures and video linking the suspect to the car they believed was used in the crime. The prosecutor tried to convey the gravity of this crime to a Boston judge. A little boy, four-year-old Ivan Pierre, hit by a speeding car outside his Hyde Park home in July and left to die. The Suffolk District Attorney and some of the boy's family listening to every word. He took affirmative steps to conceal the evidence. This man, Olgans Joseph, turned himself in and was arraigned Tuesday on a charge of motor vehicle homicide, listening to the case through a Haitian Creole interpreter. And investigators say the community's help was critical in finding him. Because of the information that we got from caring people that thought enough to speak up for Ivan. I was right there when the boy got, got hit, so it's good that the guy turned himself in. After the crash that took Ivan's life, police released surveillance video of a gray Chevy in the area. A witness then sent police this video of Joseph and the car, plus more pictures identifying Joseph as the owner. When police found Joseph, they say he told them that he brought the car back to the person who sold it to him because it was too small for his family. When police finally tracked the Chevy down, it had a dent in the hood and a stain consistent with human blood on the underside. That's after Joseph allegedly washed the car. His court-appointed defense attorney said there's more to the story. The prosecution concedes as must that my client has no record. Joseph's family came to court too, unsure what to think, but sure of what they know about their relative. He's a very nice person, um, very humble. Joseph is being held on $15,000 bail. In Jamaica Plain, I'm Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. All right, Louisa, thank you.